Hello, I'm Tim Daniels from LaptopTheShutter.com and today we're going to cover a few methods for how to fade edges in Photoshop. So we've got a couple of images here. We'll start with the first uh, method of fading edges, which works best on smaller images like this one. If you double click just on the edge of the layer, you'll open up the Layer Styles box, click Inner Glow, then in increase opacity to 100%. You probably want size at the maximum. You can increase range and also choose a contour of half round. And you can see that this applies uh, a fade here. In this case, it still looks uh, fairly, you can still see a fairly solid edge. That's because it's uh, fading against a transparent layer. If we want to just uh, click down here and go layer, new fill layer, solid color, and add a solid white color, you can see that the fade now looks pretty good. There is another filter that you can use, so if we just go and select this uh, background layer here and go to filter, camera raw filter, can then in the effects section expand the vignetting and you can then increase the vignette maybe change the midpoint bring it in and the roundness and the feather to apply a fade to the edges a method that offers more control perhaps if you choose the one of the marquee tools, so either the elliptical marquee or the rectangular marquee, draw it roughly over your subject. I'm just going to reposition this. For smaller images, you can just simply add a layer mask with this button. I would recommend that you set the feather to zero initially, and then you can see precisely where your, your boundaries are. If you then select the layer mask and go to filter, blur, and choose one of the blur options, maybe something like 50 pixels in this case, maybe a bit more, and you can then change the blur amount to affect the, uh, the fading level of the edges. If you want slightly more control than this, you just back up a few steps. So you have your selection, you can then use the Select and Mask. This lets you set the feather in here, you can also set smoothing, contrast, you can shift the edges. So make your selection bigger or smaller. And then press OK. And again, create a layer mask. Now in this case it's fading too transparent. Uh, if you wanted a solid color layer behind it, then go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. In this case, I've selected a color that's mm, roughly similar to the ones on the on the dress. So we'll then have to move this under the layer. And then you've got a fading to this new color. If you decide you want to, to modify uh, the edges here, just select the layer mask. You can go back into select and mask. Because this isn't saved as a smart object, you can't undo what you've previously done, but you can uh, make modifications to it. If you wanted to be able to undo your, your masking before doing select and mask and adding the layer mask, you'd want to right click on it and select convert to smart object which will allow you to modify the layer non-destructively. Let's just delete this layer mask. So a final option is to start a blank layer mask if you want to do this manually, then use the gradient tool. Set it for black to white. And you can then paint uh, a fading of the edges directly onto your image. Uh, in this case it needs to be set to linear gradient first.
With the colours of the gradient set from black to white, then every click will overwrite the previous clicks. If you want to do this in an additive manner, then set it um, foreground to transparent. And you will need to use black as your foreground colour. So it goes from black to transparent. And you can then build it up in, state, in steps. You can also use the linear gradient, the uh, circular gradient tool. That will need to be from white to black. And that just provides a circular gradient around the around your subject. And then with the solid color layer underneath, provides quite a nice effect. Uh, you can always modify the feather further here and using the selector mask on the layer mask. And that's how to, to blur edges and how to fade edges in Photoshop. You should remember that if you want to save your image with a transparent background like this, you can't save it as a JPEG. If you save as a JPEG, then any transparent pixels will save as white. So in this case, you need to go to File, Save a Copy, and choose PNG as your option.